Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how to use the deformation tool in Mesh Modeler. This allows you to bend a item and make it into a shape that you want. So what I'm going to do is place these two blocks. I'm going to show you that uh, I already created one here. So I actually made this out of just one of these and it's an item that you can place So let's get started. First of all, you need to convert the platform block to an item. We're going to open up Mesh Modeler. And I'm going to actually delete or cut actually these two uh, faces on two sides. I'm going to place those on a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and change the tool step to zero so they get pasted exactly in the same place that they were on the first layer. I'm going to hide that layer. And we're going to go back in here. I'm going to change the tool step to 32, which is the size of a stadium platform block. Actually, in all blocks are, well, one block space is 32 by 32 by 8. So then we're going to go and control C to copy. I'm going to just paste this a bunch of times. Basically, you can fit about 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10. Then the space. I'm going to control A, to select all. Then we we'll go to the scale tool. It's already set to 10%. I'm going to grab this, I'm going to pull it down to just 10% of its original size. We're going to move it back to where it was. And let's go ahead and just merge all the parts. Now you'll notice that the texture is really weird. So what we need to do is uh, select all these. For the top I can just select one, control Q to select all the other faces that have the same material. And then I'm going to go back over to materials mode and then control right click. Okay, it's already on this material, which is fine. I'm going to apply it. Now you'll notice it's like way, way up here. So what we need to do is use the UV unfold um, to select the area. So I'm going to actually uh, hit tab to hide the, uh, the other tool and just sh show the UV unfold only. We're going to grab these control points and just put them on each corner. There's three yellow ones and one blue one. I'm going to say, OK, validate the four points. I did, I did it correctly. I'm going to zoom in over here. Now you'll notice that there's like four by four on the normal block. So we need to actually pull this out. It snaps to, in place. So that's correct now. Now the same thing for this, we're not going to do control Q because we don't want it to select both sides. We're going to only just select the one side. I'm going to control right click. It's going to select the material. Same thing though, uh, I'm going to actually reapply the material. And then I'm going to go to UV unfold. Hit tab. Don't have to hit tab there, but I like to see only what I'm doing here with the UV unfold tool. The dots on all four corners, three yellow, one blue. We're going to say apply. Now you'll notice it's like oriented the wrong way. So let me zoom in here. What we need to do is turn it. Good. And then we're going to double this using the scale UVs by face in one direction. Now I'm going to move this over. I hold Alt when I zoom in with my mouse. Alt and the uh, scroll wheel. So that's pretty good. Now we want to do the same thing to the other side. And I could go through this whole process, but actually probably what would be easier, so I'm going to hit tab there, would be to actually just select this and control C. Then I go ahead and select all of this, delete and control V and I'll just paste it there. Now you'll notice that everything's on the wrong side. So I'm going to hit I 
and it'll flip everything to the correct the correct side. Yep. So now all we have to do is fix the bottom. We're gonna go to materials mode, <clears throat> control right click. Same thing, I'm gonna apply. UV unfold. Call this the brush tool. I'm gonna move those dots to each corner. Same thing, it's too, it's too close, so we're gonna actually go out like that. It's, I'm not sure if it's perfect, but it's close enough. So, um, and it's the bottom, probably nobody will see it. Now we have, now we have a platform block that is pre-subdivided what we're going to actually do is save that as, and actually I keep saying platform, but this is actually a circuit block. So we're going to say circuit pre-subdivided. I'm going to stick that in the stadium folder. So now we have this pre-subdivided item. So I'm going to set the placement parameters just so it's easier to work with. 8, 8, 32, 16. I explained what all these do in another video. 16 and 8. So now we have one that's pre-subdivided. I'm going to go ahead and put it in place right there. And edit it. Let's quickly save it before we forget. And I'll say circuit um, 180 up one level. Saved. And the, the thing about this is you, you always have your pre subdivided block. You don't have to do that every single time. And you can use this as many times as you want to do whatever deformation projects you want. So always have. Uh, some pre-subdivided um, items or blocks that you can work with. But for this, we want to do the circuit 180 up one level. I'm going to edit that. going to go into the mesh. I'm going to go into the geometry layer here. Select all. Now, depending on which direction you're looking is how the deformation tool starts out. So if I was to start looking here, it would place the control frame on that side. If I was looking here, it would put the control frame on that side. Um, so it always puts it on the other end of where you're looking, which is fine. So that's just a nice uh, way to, to automatically put it where you want it when you start. But if you happen to start the deformation tool and it's in the wrong place, all you have to do is click on the other end. Then it'll show these control points here. Uh, you just click on the one that's on the other side of where you want the control frame. So I'm going to click here and place the control frame over here. Okay, now I'm going to change the tool step to 16. What we want to do is bring the control frame from here up to this block. So we want to click on the dot here that's in the, uh, the inside, the one that's by this line. So I click it once and now we can actually click and drag it so I'll pull it over and I'm going to pull it over here now this is one block space up so I'm going to actually change it to eight to go up one now as you can see everything's a mess but that's fine what we need to do now is just move the control frame around 180 degrees so we're going to actually grab the the side one here and we're going to just pull it around Okay, now things are starting to look a little better. But what we need now is actually a, a second control frame in the middle. So I'm going to click outside of, of things. Now you'll see there's a dot that's available. I'm going to click it twice. And you'll see control frame appears there. I'm going to change this back to 16 for the tool step. And I'm going to pull this out 16. And now you can see that you can see that since we put this control frame in later, it's automatically tilted based on this line.
and that's exactly the way we want, we want it. So I'm going to go ahead and click outside of that and save the item. It's just a little bumpy in places, but it's pretty good. Fully drivable, as you can see. More subdivisions would probably help it be even smoother. So the next thing we need to do is actually fix the uh, the ends here. I'm going to open it back up. We're going to bring this layer back to being visible. This one's already correct. We need to move this one into the correct place up here. So I'm going to turn it around. And then I want to move it 16. Actually, we're going to turn off snapping. And then I'm going to move it up 8. And there we are. Everything's in the correct place. And that's all there is to it. There are also items that are already subdivided. For instance, this block here, which is 314. And uh, if I go ahead and convert this to an item, delete the uh, clips on the ends. You can see that it already has a lot of subdivisions. These, you know, each each section. So we actually don't need to do any more editing to it. We can actually just select it, and I can go in here to the deformation tool. I'm going to set it to uh, set it to 32. So it go moves. Of course, I want to grab this point here, and I'm going to pull it over one whole block. And let's now go to 8, and I can actually pull it up 1, or even pull it up 2. Let's go ahead and pull the, thing, the whole thing over 2 blocks. Now there's actually something similar, but not one that goes up two blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and just save that. And we'll set everything 8, 8, 32, 16. Pivot position set to 16, 16, and 8. Now what we need is clip removers for these two. So I already have those created. So we'll put one here, and we need a one here, which is going to be here. And then we need to do a clip remover for that one. Good. Try it out. Well, that wasn't the smoothest. So the way we would fix that is by uh, extending it by one block. And, by, and the way you would do that is actually to click on the deformation tool again and pull it out by 32 meters. So we can have it one block longer. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, that's a lot better.
So I hope this tutorial has been helpful and uh, have fun using the deformation tool.